if you've been around casinos a lot, you know what a comp is. But there's a lot of people who don't know what a comp is, and they say, oh, I hear you." people say, oh, you're going to get these comps at a casino. What is that? A comp is short for complimentary, and it simply means something that's free. And anything that the casino gives you could be free. That's free, we call that a comp. Now, if you're just sitting at a slot machine, for instance, and the cocktail waitress comes around and asks if you want a drink, that's free, and that's probably the most simple comp that you can get. And then you, maybe you've heard of high rollers that get uh, free charter flights to the casino and brings their, bring their whole family, and they have all these rooms and suites, and, and you have spa visits and so forth. Those are all comps, anywhere from something little to something big, but they all mean something the casino has given you free. People ask if both the table player and machine players can get comps, and the answer is definitely yes. There's just a slightly different way that they get the comps, a different system. When you have a player's card and you're going to play a machine, you put the, there is a slot in every machine that you put your player's card in. And what it does is it, you start accumulating points. And those points you can cash in usually for comps, uh, sometimes for cash, sometimes for free play, but usually for comps. And when you're playing the table games, of course, there's no place, no slot for you to put your card in. So what you do is you take your player's card, you give it to the dealer, whether it's the roulette table, the blackjack table, whatever game you're playing, and the dealer gives it to the pit boss, and they start rating you. And that's how you get the comps on tables. We've been talking about the slot club, the player's club, using your player's card, and I should mention that that's one of the best ways to get comps because you can go, after you play a while, you can go to the slot club desk and you can say, I have this many points, or they tell you how many points, and you can see what comps you have earned. That's the first way to get comps, particularly for somebody who's not real knowledgeable, a new player. But the second way to get comps that's perhaps one of the best ways and that is, when you join the Players Club, they're going to ask for your name and address. And you think, well, why do they need that? And people say, I don't want to give my name and my address and phone number and that sort of thing out. Yes, you do. I always say, yes, you do want to give your address to a casino because the casinos love to send mail. And they send mail that has offers in it. And particularly if you want to get free rooms, um, the mail comps, that's the best way to get them, the offers that come in the mail. And you might be surprised that you, how little you have to play because when the casinos are in a slow period, like the month before Christmas or whatever, they send out more offers. And they might send offers to almost everybody that's ever played in their casino. So it's very important to give your name and address to the casino so that you can get these mail offers. And that's the second good way that you can earn comps. Some people think that if you just go in the casino, the casino are just going to give you comps, offer them right and left. Uh, you would think that would happen. You would think they would want to make their customers feel good. But in actuality, the casinos do not offer comps very often, very rarely, other than what I mentioned earlier that if they might offer you a free drink when the cocktail waitress comes around, that's about the only thing that the casino is going to offer you. That's why you have to join the Players Club, you have to use your card, and then you have to go to the slot desk and say, what kind of comps have I earned? Now some casinos make this easy. They have a little like a menu at the front of the uh, in the players club, and it says, "Well, if you earn such and such a point, you can get a buffet. If you earn another more, you get a coffee shop comp, and so forth." Uh, 
but you have to go and get them. And back in the old days, if you played table games, it was a little less structured. And the pit boss saw you betting, and if, if you were betting kind of big for that casino, uh, whatever their level was, he might come up and say, hey, can I buy you dinner? I don't see that happening nowadays as much unless you're a really huge player. Usually, you've got to give your card to the dealer and then ask to be rated. Then, when you're ready to get up and you want a buffet or you want a, a gourmet a meal, whatever, you have to say, I'd like to talk to the pit boss. Call, the dealer calls the pit boss over and you have to ask. Probably one of the most common questions I get is, well, Jean, you're the queen of comps. I want, I want to know where you play, and then I want to go play there because I know you go play where you get the most comps. And they want specific. I want, should I go to this casino or this one? And I, I, I have to say right away, I can't answer that question. For one thing, I live in Las Vegas, so uh, the way I get comps is entirely different from somebody who comes to Vegas for three days and they want different things and they do it differently. Or let's not talk just about Vegas. Let's talk about how you, perhaps you live near a riverboat and how you get comps there may be different than the way than when you come to Vegas. So it depends on your goals. I've already mentioned this. A good way to get food comps is to go use your points and then go to the slot club and see what you can get for your food comps. The best way to get room comps is, if that's what you need, is room comps, then give a lot of casinos your name and address and see what you get in the mail. A local, for instance, like I am, I don't need rooms as much as an out-of-towner does. Uh, I do get them sometimes because I have relatives or friends come in and I want to get a room. But even then, a lot of those comps that I get, I get from mail offers because locals, and whether you live in Illinois or New Jersey or, or in Las Vegas, all the casinos are going to mail you offer, offers. So that's the best way. I, can, I can't give you specific uh, examples of where you should go. You have to kind of explore that for yourself. Earlier I've talked about two ways to get comps. One is you use your card and you go through the Players Club. The second one is you give your name and address uh, to the casinos so that they'll mail you offers. Now, I'm going to go to the third way and that is using a host and using the host system in a casino. Now this is a little advanced uh, technique and it's not for a beginner because it's a, a fairly complicated system. A host is someone who is in the casino and the job is, and it can be a man or a woman, and by the way, you call a host the same. You do not call a host, a woman host, a hostess. That's somebody that seats you in the restaurant. Um, a host can be a man or a woman, and this person is the one they call that has the power of the pen. That means that they can write you out comps. Uh, this is a very complex subject. I, it took me pages and pages to cover this in one of my books called More Frugal Gambling. And you should thoroughly learn how to do it through the Players Club and through the mail offers before you do this. But once you've played for a while in a casino, uh, you can ask to see a host. Now, a good way to ask to see a host is while you're playing at a machine, uh, and this is, we're talking about machine players now because the pit bosses uh, take care of the comps with the table games, but if you're a machine player and you want to see a host because you think maybe you could get some comps without using your points or, or whatever reason, it's always good to ask somebody on the floor that you see, uh, could I speak to a host? And choose a time 
when you're in front of a machine, the highest denomination you usually play. Now, I don't mean that if you usually play pennies, you don't go to a $5 machine and talk to a host. <laughs> she or he is going to find out this uh, pretty soon because they can go look at your records. But if you mix up your play for quarters and dollars, for instance, wait till you're wanting to play dollars anyway and then ask to see a host. One thing you need to remember that there are different levels of casinos. And I sometimes say, do you want to be a little frog in a big pond or do you want to be a big frog in a little pond? There's the high level casino resorts. They're the ones with the spas and the big suites and uh, luscious palm trees everywhere. And then there's the low level what we would call maybe grind joints. And then most casinos are kind of in the middle. If you want to get more comps and you're a mid-level player, then you need to go to the lower or mid-level casinos because they will appreciate your business more. Let's face it, if you play quarters, even just, even as much as six hours a day, there are some swanky resorts that aren't going to give you too much for that because they're giving all their comps out to the higher rollers. Uh, on the other hand, if you're a, a quarter player, a solid quarter player, you could go to a low level or mid-level. And, and these mid-levels doesn't mean that they're grind joints or they have sawdust on the floor or anything. And you would be surprised how much that you will get from them. I've had Many, many quarter players say to me, I didn't think I could get any comps, but you told me, Gene, to always use my card when I play. You've told me to join several uh, players clubs at different casinos, give them my name and address. And I'm amazed by the ama mail that I get offering me free rooms. I thought you had to be a high roller to get free rooms. You don't. But they're choosing casinos that are mid-level, lower mid-level, meaning not quite so fancy. One of the main pieces of advice that I would give anyone that's trying to use the comp system and maximize the benefits that they get from a casino is to never play just for comps. If you lose $200 while you're trying to earn a $10 buffet, that is going to be the most bitter-tasting meal you ever had in your life. 